What is your motivation? What is motivating you to step into your destiny and keep following your dream? Is it your haters or is it God? Find out what I have to say about that. Yo, what's up guys? A uh, quick word of wisdom when it comes to the quote that we've always heard, let your haters be your motivators. I know it sounds good, and I know that there's people out there who say that you can't do something, so you want to kind of prove them wrong and let that be your motivation. But I think we got it backward with that. I say, let your dreams be your motivation. Let God be your motivator. Let Christ be your motivator. Don't let your haters motivate you to do anything. The reason I say that is because many times we find ourselves starting a new project or venture and we're not 100% sure that we're supposed to be there. Maybe we've spent money, we've spent time and effort going into a direction that we had a vision at first and then it just kind of fell in on itself. We're not supposed to be there, but there's outside sources, there's naysayers who are ready to say, look, I told you so. I told you you wasn't supposed to be doing that. I told you it wasn't gonna pan out and things like that. So a lot of times we call those people our haters, people who are doubting us, the naysayers and the outside voices coming against us. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll stay in something that we need to abandon. We're supposed to jump ship. It wasn't where we were supposed to be. It's not God's divine perfect will for our lives. It's his permissible will. We can keep going and wasting money and, and burning bridges and making relationships and all kinds of things that we do when we don't abandon ship because we don't want to let our haters, our naysayers say, see, I told you so. Now I say this from personal experiences. I've started podcasts and ministry ventures and all types of things and I fumbled money into it trying to brand it create logos intros whole bunch of things and I knew deep down I wasn't supposed to be there and the more time that I stayed in that season I was funneling money into it and pretty much digging a rut for myself and one of the biggest reasons I didn't abandon ship is because I did not want my haters to say see I told you so so with your pursuits and the things that you're building, the things you're pursuing in your life, don't let your haters be your motivators. Let your dreams be your motivator. Let God be your motivator. Find out what his vision is for your life. Find that, get the vision, write it down, make it plain and run with it. But make sure that you're running in the right direction. If you're in some things right now that you know you're not supposed to be in, I don't care what it is. I mean, it's applicable for no matter if we're in a business deal, if we're in ministry, if we're in a relationship, so many different things that this applies. If you're in it for the wrong reasons, make sure that you steer the course back where it's supposed to be. Get everything back on track and keep going in the right direction. If you have two parallel lines and they're traveling together and one of them gets off just a little bit, the further and further and further you go, that one that got off just a little, just a slight degree, eventually is gonna be way further from the path in which it started. And it's gonna be harder to back paddle, to get back to God's perfect will for your life. I like to call it the straight and narrow. I like to call it the highway of holiness. It's a straight and narrow path that God has for you. So the goal is to get with God, get the vision for your life and run with it doors will begin to open up you don't have to force anything open synchronicities will happen in your life all over the place numbers and connections and calls and uh, the divine people who are supposed to be there God will line it up for you you don't have to budge any doors open they will open seamlessly everything will begin to work in your favor once you're on this path find out what that path is whether it's spending some time in devotion whether it's just doing a life review over your life and say where I'm at right now versus where do I want to be? Find out what it is. Make the correction. Make it happen. Don't let your haters be your motivators. Let your dreams motivate you. Let God motivate you. If you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. Make sure that your desire and your affection is upon him. With that, I'm going to say peace and shalom. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so now. If you have not seen my Christ consciousness video or the video where I'm talking about my experience with Jesus, make sure you check those out now. They'll be right there. Click one of those. Check them out. Subscribe to the channel again. Thank you so much. I'm True Seeker. Many blessings to you guys.
peace and shalom.